today I'm going to give you some tips and some pointers about filling out job applications. So let's begin. The purpose of a job application is to let that uh, owner of the business or the manager um, spot your strengths and your weaknesses very quickly and it's also a way that they can compare one potential employee with another potential employee since each application will have the same questions on it. So um, we're going to learn a few things that you might need to know before you go to fill out that first job application. So plan ahead. Plan where you want to apply. And in doing so, find out the name of that business owner or the manager that you would need to speak to about filling out a job application. Most businesses are happy to have people come in and ask to fill out a job application, whether they're actually apply, whether they actually have openings at that time or not. The um, completed job applications will go on file until they do have an opening that they need to fill. So, know the name of the manager or the store owner when you go in to ask if you can fill out a job application. Uh, practice your handshaking skills before you get there because you want to show that you know how to greet someone appropriately and remember to dress appropriately also for that uh, for that day when you walk in to ask for a job application. You want to be clean and neat and dressed appropriately for whatever type of job that it is that you're applying for. Um, when you go to fill out a job application or you go to request to fill out one, be prepared. Being prepared will show that potential employer that you are serious about getting a job. So know your social security number. You don't have to have your social security card with you, but you do need to have that social security number memorized. It will go onto your job application. If you feel that a place of business uh, isn't safe for you to give them your social security number, then you shouldn't be applying for a job there anyway. So memorize your social security number so you'll have it ready. Uh, take your resume with you and take your references, names and addresses and phone numbers with you as well. And also carry a black pen to show that you are prepared to sit down and fill out that job application. Now, two things might happen when you walk into the place of business and you ask to fill out a job application. They might ask you to sit down right then and there and fill it out, or they might give it to you and ask you to uh, take it home with you, fill it out, and bring it back. You might also be filling out the job application online and if you um, get to fill it out online or you get to take the application home with you then you have plenty of time to fill it out and make sure that you have all of your information but if it is the case where you must fill it out on the job site then you really do have to have your information and be prepared so here are the tips for filling out that job application. Read over the entire application before you begin filling it out. Look for any instructions, any guidelines about um, filling it out or, or information. Notice how large are the blanks and where are the blanks placed. Um, you want to be sure that you can uh, uh, fit your handwriting to fit inside the blank. You might have to write a little bit smaller smaller than you normally do. Uh, print very neatly. Use your best penmanship. Neatness shows that you take pride in your work. A sloppy application with a lot of mistakes or crossed out uh, words will show that you're a sloppy worker. Try to answer every question. If a question does not apply to you, put a very neat capital N, capital A, in the blank to show that this question did not apply to you. If you feel that a question is improper, leave it blank. Do not give an expected salary. There are quite a few job applications that will ask for expected 
salary. You don't want to price yourself out of the job by putting in too large of a salary and then you don't want to um, make yourself look too desperate by putting down a very low salary. If you were to put down a very low salary, that might be what you what you actually received. Uh, so you want to put the word open, O-P-E-N, in the blank to show that the topic is open for discussion. You don't talk about salary until you are being interviewed and being offered the position. So on the application, put the word open. Um, when you're asked on the job application why you left a job, have a prepared statement ready. Employers don't like quitters. Employers that hire employees are expecting those employees to stay for a long time. And um, they want you to stay for a long time, but they don't want to think that you are hopping from one job to another. So have your explanation ready as to why you left a particular job. Before using a person as a reference, make sure you get their permission. Ask them beforehand if they would mind being a reference for you and you will need their name and their address and their phone number. Remember to be honest, no exaggerating. Any representation or omission on a job application is sufficient grounds for immediate dismissal from that job. So always be honest. And do not forget to sign and date the application after you have read it and agreed to its criteria. Signing it and dating it shows that you have placed uh, correct information on the application and that um, you are agreeing to whatever type of criteria they might expect of you if you were to be hired. Now, on the work experience section, I hear this a lot from my younger students that have never had a formal job before. So if you have no formal work experience, don't panic. List any volunteer experience that you may have. This could be volunteer experience through your school or through your church or through your community. So keep track of those little volunteer efforts that you make. Uh, you can use them on your job application. Charity work looks very good on your job application. Keep track of those things that you do for charity and those things might be done through your community or your school or church as well. Casual labor for family and friends such as mowing lawns, cleaning the house, babysitting all show that someone trusted you and that you held a responsibility and that looks good on a job application and any self-employment that you may have had include that it looks it looks good on your job application showing that you showed initiative anything that you can show that um, you had a responsibility that you took initiative and that someone trusted you looks really well on your job application. Employers know that younger employees are not going to have had a full-time job before. They're just looking for those things that showed that you were a responsible person. Now there are some things that you need to take with you when you go in to apply for a job. Have a copy of your resume with you. Uh, you can leave it with them. You can uh, give it to them with your resume. Uh, I mean, give it to them with your job application, I'm sorry. And it will also help you in filling out your job application. Many of the items that are on your resume will also be used on your job application. Know your social security number. This is a way that an employer determines if you are eligible to be hired. So know your social security number. Have a copy of your references, their names, addresses, phone numbers, and emails. Take a black pen or two. 
you don't want to be that person that has to ask for a pin in order to fill out the job application. If you are filling out a job application online, you will still need to have uh, these items of resume, social security number, and your reference information. So have those things with you as well if you're filling out the job application online. Now I hope that my pointers have helped you and if this is going to be your first time filling out a job application, good luck. Remember to be neat and be prepared. Thank you.